In today's video, we're opening a golden Yu-Gi-Oh set to find Yu-Gi-Oh's most powerful card ever. What's up guys, we're back with another epic gold series, technically premium gold, but you know, it's basically the same thing. Opening, it's gonna be pretty epic because we are searching for Yu-Gi-Oh's most powerful card. And if you know what that is, let me know right now in the comments. But before we open gold, we have a golden giveaway. I was recently sent this awesome gold, like plated, I mean, it's really cool. Dark Magician, it's on a necklace if you wanna rock it like Yugi Moto from Nani America. So I'm gonna be giving it away because this thing fits the theme of this video too well golden so all you have to do is like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below what do you think the most powerful Yu-Gi-Oh card is and uh do you agree that it is the card we're about to open all right we have a premium gold infinite gold this is an entire box so there are a bunch of mini boxes in here five to be exact so not a bunch but uh, a decent amount inside we can potentially pull the maxi gold rare so this is of course maxi highly debated card in Yu-Gi-Oh! very popular very expensive has been banned for a very long time because it was so good originally came out in storm of ragnarok as a secret rare has an ultimate rare printing that's why astral pack 4 is so rare it's just so hard to find that card is crazy expensive even though it's not playable and you know the, in the tcg ocg Currently, you can use it. You can use it in Master Duel, which is an absolute nightmare. Unless you have it, then it's great. So I figured we could do a whole video searching for this infamous card. So Premium Gold, uh, this is a little bit big, but we'll make it work. Premium Gold, Infinite Gold. This set came out several years ago at this point. I mean, I mean, we're getting close to like, I think it's like eight years ago, something maybe 2015. It'll pop up on the screen. You guys will know if I was right. Fact check me right now. Was Rux incorrect? <laughs> And of course I was, obviously. Obviously it was 2015, duh. Everyone knows that. So originally it was Gold Series, then they go to Premium Gold. Gold Series just had one giant mega pack. Premium Gold has like three packs, I believe. And then they went to Maximum Gold, which had four packs each. So it's slowly added more and more packs. All right, I got them out without damaging them. The presentation, very cool, but a lot of extra cardboard here. But it's not as bad as Maximum Gold, which were like 50% longer. It was insane. You could barely even hold on to them. They're so wide. Okay, we have three packs. Our first three. Will our first mini box be the best one yet? Will we pull Yu-Gi-Oh's most powerful card? the maxi i don't know we did it last time i think when i opened one of these so i'm hoping we can do it again i think it's just a regular gold rare it's not like a secret or anything this is the uh the gold where the names are very hard to read so i'm not a huge fan of that part i do like the way the gold borders look though i think they look pretty nice horn of heaven secret rare i do like these gold secrets i'm not gonna lie i used to not like them and they've really grown on me i think they look pretty awesome the name is just too hard to read here we know it's horn of heaven so it's no big deal uh breakthrough skill that's a great card actually that's probably a really good one uh, we have the Phantom Knights of Shade. See, I can't read that. I can't read it. And then a Seer Metal Branch of the Burning Abyss. So Burning Abyss cards are usually pretty decent. So we did pretty good, I think, with that breakthrough skill. The thing about these gold openings is like so many of them are worth a dollar and I usually sell dollar plus cards and the rest I like bulk out or whatever. So I'm going through and like 50% of the cards, I have to like check the price and like, well, I have to check all of them. So it's good and bad, you know, it's like extra work, but it's also like more value that you get back, but it's a very expensive box. So you don't make your money back anyway, but number 61, that's pretty cool. Cosmo Straw Man. It's a secret. We have the Monarch Stormforth. That's pretty nice. I don't think that's money, even though who was it? Somebody was playing this recently. Somebody was playing it in a YCS and like killing it. I saw we have a Magical King Moonstar and oh, another Seer. Okay. Seer's nice. We're looking for that Maxi though in the last pack or the last slot. I think a lot of times it is the last slot, but I don't know if that's guaranteed to be where Maxi will be or not. Okay. We have an Abyss Dweller. This is pretty cool golden opening you guys love these gold openings i love doing them problem is they you know they haven't made them since 2021 for maximum gold so even those are kind of expensive and then you go back to premium gold it's insane and then the gold series is just yeah it's just on another level abyss dweller that's good cause maul a wicked witch dark mirror force never been a good card we have the phantom knight of tome i think it says tome shield and a Dante, Traveler of the Burning Abyss. So another nice Burning Abyss card. These are coming out a little bit warped, if you guys can tell. Yeah, they got a little warpage to them, which is pretty normal for gold cards because they got so much like foiling and stuff on them. Next mini box. That wasn't a bad start, but it was also, I mean, we're not off to like a blazing start or anything. The thing about these sets, as I said, there's a lot of like decent value cards. There's not a lot of high value cards. You're not looking at like $50 cards out of here. I think the best card is like 15, 20 bucks, something like that, maxi. And then there's a couple others in that range as well. So, I mean, if we get a few of them, 
them would be great, but it's gonna be tough. I think this is like a, maybe a $200 box. I don't remember, I've had it for a while. I don't remember how much I got it for, but I feel like it was around $200. So obviously that's not cheap. These are, I guess, $40 each. If you do math like that, if you do math correctly, if you do math like that, I do math uh, live a lot and it's not correct. So hopefully that one will be correct for us. We have, okay, Arcanite Magician. Uh, is that an Edison card or is that too late? Crimson Crisis. Wait, when did it cut off for Edison? I thought it was Absolute Power Force. Which one came first though? I don't know 5D's like uh, timeline very well. I know the original, I know like the back of my hand. GX, I kind of know. And then when you get to 5D's, I'm kind of lost. I know it starts with the Duelist Genesis and Crossroads of Chaos, obviously. But after that, it gets confusing. Treacherous Trap Hole. There we go. Dueling Staple. All right, not necessarily a stable, but very playable. Draco face off. We have the number 35 Ravenous Tarantula. I think this is a pretty good card. I'm trying to remember back to the last time we opened this, if the price hasn't changed too much. I think that's a good card. And we got another Burning Abyss card. So a lot of Farfoot going on right now. Pretty good stuff. Still have not found the most powerful Yu-Gi-Oh card. I'm pretty sure I kept the last ones we pulled. I think we pulled two, maybe. I think we might have pulled two, which is pretty amazing. I don't know if we're going to get that lucky. I just want to pull one. We have Big Eye. It's a great card. Black Horn of Heaven used to be pretty solid. We have the Galaxy Cyclone, pretty solid dueling staple. We have a mythical, mythical or magical? Magical. And the Traveler of the Burning Abyss. So that seemed like kind of a dud pack right there. But don't worry, we've got more. We have 10 more packs. So this is not a very high quantity pack opening. We only have 15 total packs in this, but the quality is pretty great when it comes to gold series. Let me know, of course, in the comments how you feel about Gold Series. I mean, it's always divided. There's like people like, oh, I love Gold Series. I don't love Gold Series. So I love to see those. Bottom and Shark, we have the Grand Horn of Heaven. It's always a Horn of Heaven. We've had Horn of Heaven, Grand Horn of Heaven, and Black Horn of Heaven. In how many packs is this? Six packs? That's insane. Remove Brainwashing. This lady just, I mean, she's brainwashed, but she just looks so confused. I mean, it makes sense. But what is this? Bish Ball? Oh, this is Bish Balkan? This is the... uh the classic coder card. Okay, I've never actually played against this. I think there's multiple versions though, so this might not be the exact one. We have the Fire Lake of the Burning Abyss. So uh, a little distant coder action. I think they banned it or something in Duel Link, or in the Master Duel, I should say. So he didn't get to have any more free content, which is always sad. Free content, you love to see it. Speaking of free content, if you guys want to send me anything to open up, I'm available, guys. Eh, eh, not anything. Anything's a strong word. <laughs> not anything. Not like the newest set, one box of the newest set, you know, because we open hundreds of boxes. So it's like, that's not something I think people want to watch. But if it's something cool, you know, especially like Gold Series, and you guys are like, ah, oh, I don't really, or I kind of want to, Ruxin open it. Ruxin is available. So just send me a message. There's a lot of cool stuff we've been opening for other people and it's been super fun. It's gone really well. We've had some great pulls for people. So uh, that's available. That is something that you can do. You can message me. Of course, you know, I'll tell you yes or no. So it's like, it's not a big deal. If I say no, it's not like I'm offended. You asked. Gaga -ga Cowboy. Great card. We have the Cosmo Light Sword. The Reasoning. Oh, a little goat format action. That's pretty cool. Goat format reasoning. We have the number 38. This used to be big money, but unfortunately I got a reprint. I think it goes from the past two, maybe? Or was it one? I can't remember, but this was a huge money card originally. So unfortunately not anymore. And then we have a uh, Alich. Alich. Okay, another Burning Abyss card. I bet number 38 still a few bucks though. And Reasoning is probably good because of go format. We've still got a lot going on here. We're not doing too bad. I'm definitely happy with it so far, but I'm not like pumped. I'll be pumped if we get Max C. We had a little spoiler in the back. Master Pendulum, I feel like that's like $2 for some reason. Ice Hand is a very cool card, but not very good. e -Telly, that's great. Also goes from the past two reprints, so that, that definitely hurt the value of that print. We have the Red Supremacy, and we have a Dante Pilgrim of the Burning Abyss. So Dante has the Xyz version and the Fusion version. That's the Pilgrim. Okay, very cool. Last of the third mini box. Okay, we got uh, we got an effect monster back there. Lightning Chidori. These are always sliding around. Chidori, we got a little uh, Naruto action. Fire Hand, go with our Ice Hand. Mask change. That's a pretty solid card for E hero, D, D heroes, all that stuff. We have the King's Consonants and oh, come on, come on, give us a maxi. Let's go. We only got six more packs, guys. Maxi is not looking promising right now. I mean, there's probably a lot of cards in this set. I actually don't really know, but a lot of times set like this with a lot of reprints have a ton of options. So you may or may not get the one you actually want because there's so many different secrets and, and ultras you could pull. I'm hoping that we get ours that we're looking for very soon. We have three packs in this mini box and three packs on the final one and that's our last chance to get the most powerful Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm going to do this so I don't do any spoilers because I've been spoiling it. Okay, it's still doing spoilers. That's annoying. We have Master Paladin, the Awakened Ascending Draco Slayer. This is a Dox Ultimate Rare formerly in the original print. We have Cosmo Town Secret Rare, also a Dox card. 
The Monarch Storm. So if it's Dox, it's definitely at least 2015. So my guess, which is definitely accurate, is very close. 2015 or 16, something like that. 2015 is what I'm sticking with. Monarch Storm. That would be really close after Dox, though. Probably unlikely it's 2015. It's probably 2016. Okay, Storm Fourth. We have the uh, Frost Blast of the Monarchs. Very cool. And oh, we got another Burning Abyss. Where are you, Maxi? The weird part about these is like there's no real like hollow. You know, it's like kind of hollow, but barely. It's very subtle. Kind of interesting, actually. Max Maximum Gold, the original, came out in 2020, and then it was 2021 for Maximum Gold Eldorado. And there hadn't been gold for a few years, so I'm pretty sure the last year was 16, so maybe this was the last one in 16. Still trying to figure this out, could stellar. We have Cosmo Dark Destroyer, Cosmo. This is a great card out of Docs. It was a big secret rare for a while. I think you got a reprint, Mass Change 2. But at this point, they've all had one. Pain Gainer, there we go. Wait, no, maybe this was a good one. Pain Gainer, not the Tarantula. Even though he looks a lot like the Tarantula. Hmm, okay, all right. And, oh, come on, give us something crazy. No, Max C, where are you? Oh, allow us to draw more cards, please. Last pack before we get to, all right, we have Naruto at the front. We've got the Akatsuki right there. Treacherous Travel, that's good. Remove brainwashing. The confused lady is back. Oh, start as charge warrior. This is a very solid card. Very, very solid card. And we've got a what is this? Virgil, I think is the name. Rockstar. Of the, yeah, of course. Look at the look at the guitar. Rockstar, the burning best. Half the time is me just trying to read these gold names. All right, our final chance. Come on, come on. I just dropped it. That means there's something crazy. I just dropped it because I was so like earnestly like asking. Please give us a max C. Give us the card that nobody ever wants to see because his name is Max C. It rhymes, kind of. It doesn't rhyme, it just repeats the name. Never mind, let's just keep going. Three more packs left in this opening. Three more chances at the legendary draw card. Max C challenge continues now. This is the real Max C challenge. Not the one where you, you know, you try to win through the Max C. It's where you try to open for the Max C. That's the real Max C challenge. We have Luster Pendulum. Pendulum, we have the, it's like a Pringle. We have Deep Dark. Shared Rod, I feel like that's a decent card. We have an energy blast, frost blast of the mod. I see, I can't read these. I'm telling you, I, I can already not read, so this doesn't help. And finally, oh yes! Last box magic, Max C has been pulled. Let's go. All right, talk about some drama there. Okay, Max C on the final opening. I probably need to put this with my other two so I have a play set for when it gets unbanned. Never, it's not gonna happen. I mean, it's probably not gonna happen. I mean, after all these years, You'd think it would happen, but it, it's just not. It's just not going to happen. But if it does, I'll have a couple ready. Okay, that's pretty sick. We've completed our goal, but you know what else? We could get a second one. We've done it before. Two in the same mini box. This would be the craziest ending ever. Let's go. Black Rose Dragon. That's another huge one we haven't pulled yet, so that's super nice. Cosmol Farm Girl. Radiant Mirror Force. We've got Red Supremacy. And another burning abyss card okay guys final pack if you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this we've been putting out a ton of content that's the usual we, we've done that for the last two and a half years so not a big deal but you might as well go check it out because there's a lot of videos that have been sucking recently in terms of people watching it so if you maybe have been like you know rocks i kind of forgot about that guy I haven't watched his videos in a while i got some go check them out go check them out let's go you will swarm ouroboros that's a good card we have Grand Horn of Heaven, back to the Horns of Heaven. We have Mass Change, Elemental Heroes, very nice. We have another Bish Balkan, and finally, will we get a second Max C? Come on, baby. No, of course, it's Burning Abyss, but hey, I cannot complain. We completed our goal by grabbing one of Yu-Gi-Oh's most powerful cards. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dian, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Liu, Gwine 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa Jr. Barty, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>